Hello and welcome to this special episode of the Software Lifecycle Stories. We've been bringing you stories of people who've been in the software industry for a while now and thought it was time to reach out to our listeners who've been giving us the wind beneath our wings to do this. In this episode, my colleague Shiv and I, Chitra, from BM Power Consulting, do a mini retrospective on our podcasting journey so far. Stay tuned until the end of the episode. We have a surprise for you. Yeah, hi, Chitra. Hi, Shiv. I can't believe that uh, we've completed 25 episodes. I know, isn't that yeah. surprising? Yeah. At first, when we started, we were wondering you know, who would talk to us. And then when we found that you know, people were ready to talk, then said, what will we talk about? And then when they started sharing, I think we are getting a lot of positive feedback from our listeners who say that uh, they found some of these episodes very interesting. And not only from our listenership, what a lot of our guests have come back and said is that they have revealed certain things that they have probably never shared with anybody else before. And uh, they've been pleasantly surprised as to what all they've been able to share with us. So I certainly uh, am very excited and uh, can't wait to see what else we could do with this medium of uh, podcasting. Yeah, I guess if we were a media house, we would have said breaking news, first time ever in the podcasting world, never revealed before and all that, but we are not that. <laughs> I guess the name itself, when we said software lifecycle stories, one of the feedback uh, uh, observations that uh, we received is that it sounds too technical. We've been talking more about lives of people associated with software. Yes, there have been some who are so passionate about their work they spoke about let's say architecture or uh, the user experience and so on but the emphasis has been more on people associated with this so do you think we should change the name of our show i'm not sure quite at this stage uh, what i found is that people are happy sharing about their experiences and i think that's what gives this whole show its its feel for for listeners Anybody can listen to this show without feeling that they, they didn't understand something about it. Although I have heard people saying that several of the episodes, they couldn't quite follow some of the uh, bug fixing or architecture related aspects that people shared about. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, they have found something to take away. So I think I think having people share their experiences is is nice because anybody can relate to an experience. Mm, that's good. And we also tried some themes, like what we ran in March around women. So should we continue exploring more such themes? Absolutely. I think uh, if, I, if I reflect upon the whole theme around Women's Day, everybody had something to share. And again, it made it all that more special and unique because it was from their own personal experiences, whether they had gone through it or whether they had helped somebody you know, get through it. So there's an eagerness to to share, to, um, you know, in the hope that it resonates with someone out there. So I think we should explore uh, more themes. I think the list of themes is simply boundless. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Every time I speak to someone, there are a lot more ideas that come up and uh, themes that can be explored further. Along with that, there was also an experiment on the duration of the podcast. Okay, most of our podcasts, even though we tried to keep it about half an hour to 40 minutes, have become a little longer. But the feedback we got on those episodes also have been positive. And they all like the flow of the conversation and uh, the speaker was able to share a lot of stories that they liked. So what should we do about the duration of the podcast? I think I think keeping it to whatever it is now, I think we're averaging about somewhere between 30 to 40 minutes an episode. A couple of things that I observe is that it's allowing people to ease into the conversation and really bring out uh, the best of their experiences. And uh, there is always a little more to explore. So maybe we could experiment with a couple of different formats. You know, if we, let's say, want to reveal some nuggets that people could just very quickly listen to at, at any point in time or, you know, continue to have these long formats or maybe do a combination of both. Where do you feel our sweet spot could be? 
Yeah, first is uh, I want to acknowledge you know, the support from PM Power to not only launch this, help sustain this, do the experiments under the overall theme of catalyzing excellence or delivery excellence. While we had some idea initially and some of them got refined as we went along, I think rather than me sharing what I feel should be the length, why don't we ask our listeners? We've had such super listeners. They've been reaching out through various media, whether it is WhatsApp or email or sometimes or a phone call. I think we should ask them. That's what I think we should do. I think that's a great idea. In fact, we could ask our listeners a lot more questions about uh, you know what they really feel about our episodes. I too have some anecdotal responses, but you know why don't we actually ask our listeners a little more beyond the duration of the episode? Perhaps they could chime in with what is it that they'd like to listen to more of, um, and see what we get from them. I'd love to get that kind of feedback. Oh, wonderful. So as part of the show notes for this bonus episode, let us create a small survey, a small form that they could fill in. Because today, one of the challenges that we also face, which all podcasters face, is that there is no one place where you can collect all the feedback. If you're using your favorite podcast client or a lot of our listeners listen on the web, it's not easy for them to leave their comments so maybe a simple form, I'm sure our listeners will respond and give us clues in terms of what more and new exciting things that we can bring. Sure, sure. I think that sounds like a great idea. I guess we could ask our listeners to you know, respond in. What are your thoughts on running a small contest for our listeners? Say the most interesting feedback. Maybe we could, you know, give them surprise. a surprise. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Yeah, I think to show our appreciation for the love that they have been showing us. I think it's a good occasion for us to celebrate. 25 episodes and sustaining it and for the next 25 and 50 and whatever more. Oh yes. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, this this sounds great. I think it's a, it hopefully it shows them, you know, that we are out there, we want to connect with them and uh, we'd love to hear from them. From you all, because now we are talking to the listeners. Yeah, so far, I think we've been talking to our, our between sense. us. Okay. Now, wherever you are listening to this episode, now please take a few minutes to fill up the form and share us your inputs as to what format we can use for the show, the frequency and anything else that you would like in the show. And of course, we would love you to be our guest. Or if you have others who you think would be you know, making or has a lot of interesting stories, Please do share that as well. Yes, dear listeners, uh, we know that there are a few of y'all who've been consistently tuning into our show. So thank you so much for all the support that you've shown. If you even want to record your feedback and send it in, please do so. Wonderful. Okay, thank you, Shiv. This is great. Uh, Looking forward to hearing from our listeners, perhaps reading what they have to share with us. And uh, we'll be back with more episodes more formats yeah probably more podcasts so that is again one of the things that has come in so let us not reveal too much maybe some trailers will come in so just stay locked on the pm power podcast with the software lifecycle stories being the first thank you thank you so hey everyone who's been listening to our show we'd love to hear your feedback please fill out the survey the link is in our show notes The last day for receiving responses is the 31st of May and the most interesting responses will get a surprise prize. Cheers!